Hello everybody and welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. We're here today to do your February 2021 career and finance forecast for all Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. And if you're returning, then welcome back. Always a pleasure to have you. I appreciate all of your likes, subscribes, your comments and your wonderful energy. I'm grateful for every single one of you. All right, so let's see where we go here. This is, as always, a general and intuitive reading, so not every single part of the messages that come out will resonate with all of you. Take the parts that do and leave the rest behind. You might also want to check your moon and rising sign readings as well for some additional information. So let's see where we go here. Message for Gemini, sun, moon, and rising signs. What do we need to know for February 2021 for career and finance? And we have willpower, okay, coming out first there. Some of you are very strong, you're very determined, very courageous, you're persevering, you're powering through, you're not going to let anything uh, let you down. All right, and then we also have clarity coming out here as well. So that is that you know what, to, man, you know what you want. You've done some work on yourself. You're really probably done some soul searching with this energy here. All right. And um, yeah, you're, you know what you want and by golly, you are going for it. All right. So I'm going to pull out your, I'm going to do your, tar pull your tarot cards and then we'll go a little bit deeper into each message. I'm doing the Celtic cross for you guys today your current situation the four of fire wow you are committed okay you were no one's gonna doubt your commitment level with that energy let's see what's crossing you your challenge and we have the ten of water okay so um, challenge just finding that uh, little bit of peace that that final piece of the puzzle um, some of you maybe if you're focused on your career a little too much you might have a little bit of a um, uh, something happening in the home, right? Maybe your, you know, your spouse is, is, uh, getting a little bit annoyed, but, um, the seven of air is your foundation. Okay. So that's what's driving you forward. Okay. That's your subconscious there, right? That's living your life by your own terms. All right. Your recent past, we have strength. Okay, I'm not surprised that that came out, especially with that willpower and clarity there. So that's um, that's your own strength and drive there. Your what's crowning you? Okay, this is your goals. This is your possibilities, and we have the three of earth. Okay, rebuilding your foundation. Um, perhaps collaboration with that energy. You might be going into business partnership with somebody. All right. Your near future, we have the page of water. Okay, beautiful energy right there. That's the birth of something new, some new possible opportunity. Okay, let's see what you feel about this entire situation, your current attitude. And we have the Ace of Fire. Oof, you are in full-blown creation mode here with that energy. All right, you're being very inventive. Okay. The three of water is your external influences, right? So you might have a lot of friends and family either supporting you or perhaps some naysayers, but the three of water is an energy of celebration, all right? So I feel like there's a lot of support on your side for some of you there, all right? Your hopes and your fears, we have the eight of water, okay? Um, afraid of something new, afraid of walking away, um, but that's also your hope is to find something new. Your outcome, the five of fire, um, lots of lots of creativity, lots of passion going on there for you. All right, so let me just make sure that you can see all of these energies. Yes, you can. All right, so we have willpower. Okay, so um, this is what's driving you forward, okay? This is your current energy. Um, this is helping you out here. So um, maybe previously in your career, um, you followed a path that uh, perhaps you always just chase the money. You always just chase the paycheck. Um, you know, and it just, it, it maybe didn't quite work for you, okay? You might've been unfocused and a little bit unclear 
um, perhaps of what direction that you wanted to go in in your life here. All right. But this is you refocusing, regrouping. This is you being strong and determined and knowing what you want and knowing that you're going to get it. All right. Um, you've probably done a lot of soul searching with this. You probably avoided a certain amount of temptation to fall back into some old habits. All right. Um, because you're looking for something better perhaps than where you are, or you're looking to just expand, um, perhaps with some of you where you are, isn't necessarily all that bad. All right. Um, but you're looking to expand upon that. So you might be with a company that is actually pretty good to you. All right. And, um, you know, you're, you're looking to grow within that company. All right. And looking for that, um, uh, that little extra oomph. All right. That takes you there. Maybe it requires a little bit of extra work on your part. Okay. Um, but this is you tapping into your own personal will and overcoming obstacles that are in your path with this as well. Clarity is that need for going within. Some of you might be a little bit unfocused with this energy. You might be full of great ideas, all right, and not and not having necessarily a solid plan on how to achieve your dreams, on how to make everything happen. So this is that energy of make sure that you're very clear and very focused on what you want, what direction that you want to take and what you want the outcome to be. Okay. So if you're perhaps some of you might be looking to expand your own business at this time. All right. Maybe you need to, um, just co uh, collaborate with someone. You might need a business advisor or something for that. Uh, just to give you a little bit of a uh, little bit more focus, a little bit more of a, a helping hand with a clear direction with this. Okay. So make sure you're following the path as well with this clarity energy coming out here. This is also, um, spirit reinforcing that you're following the right path that is for your higher good, for your own stability and for your own success as well. Okay. So your current situation here, look at you. This is one hell of a creation, a creative period for you right now. Um, you have a lot of creativity, a lot of passion. You're filled with a lot of fire. You're very inventive at this time. So no matter what project, no, ma no matter what you put your time, energy, and dedication towards right now, this is, um, you're full of great ideas, right? People might look to you, um, to be a bit of a leader. All right. Maybe they look to you for inspiration. Okay. Um, you've just got this, this burning within you and it radiates, um, it radiates from you. It's beautiful energy. Okay. This is the four of fire, four of wands in, uh, in other decks, right? And that's that, um, level of celebration and, uh, commitment as well, right? Lots of abundance in store for you here and lots of success. All right. So it's a beautiful energy that you're sitting in right there. Okay. Um, what's crossing you is the 10 of water. So what's crossing you can either be helping or hindering you. It can also be just what is just a little bit out of reach for you. Okay. Not a huge obstacle here with that 10 of water there. It's a pretty good card, no matter how you shake it with that. And considering this is the good tarot, we do not read reversals either. So, um, so there might be a little bit of, maybe you're putting a lot of time, energy, and effort into your creative endeavors at this point. And maybe someone at home just has their nose a little bit out of joint. Maybe you, it takes you from your home life a little bit. Um, if you have children, maybe you're just not able to spend as much time with them at the moment as you truly want. Okay. Um, but, uh, so just a little bit of peace, a little bit of serenity there has been just rocked just a little bit, but there's a really good foundation there. This can also be you striving for your own personal happiness, your peace, your serenity, your emotional fulfillment. Okay. You're working very hard at that. And this is what you're striving to achieve. And you're almost there, but you haven't quite achieved that yet. Okay. So however that resonates for you there, um, let's pull a card on that to clarify this 10 of water, please clarify this. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So we have the nine of pentacles coming out there. Okay. So some of you, you're, you're wanting to be very independent. Okay. So, um, very self-sufficient energy in this. So perhaps you're trying to open your own business. You might want a home-based business with this, right? Um, you might be just a little bit afraid of taking that, 
um, final leap, that final step here. Okay, you might be um, a little bit dependent on other people at the moment. Um, perhaps you might need a little bit of a helping hand and um, you know, you're just not maybe entirely comfortable in that. But this is you wanting to be self-sufficient in this energy, okay? Facing, facing your fears, taming your anxiety um, with that 10 of water there. So um, you're, you're looking to find that happiness and that peace, right? But you're a little bit afraid of maybe having to do everything on your own, okay? But you're doing it anyway right? You're just, you're doing it anyway. Um, so for some of you that can be your own business, okay. And you're looking to expand, to grow, or even just to open it. And you're looking for some creative ideas into how you to get you where you exactly want to be. Now the seven of air is in your foundation. Okay. So this is the truth, the heart of the matter. This is what's driving you forward. And the seven of air, I love the seven of air in this deck because this is you stepping into your own authenticity, all right? This is um, living life on your own terms. You know what you want and you um, you know what uh, direction that you want to move in, all right? And, you know, there's a lot of peace here, right? We have a couple of doves of peace here, but you're a person that people look up to, that people want to follow, Okay, your um, your inner light is shining through with this energy. So let's pull a card on that as well, right? Because this is you being very independent. Okay, so um, so again, you might have um, um, recently opened your own business or maybe stepped out of the fold. Okay, if you're a little bit um, if you're younger, perhaps. Um, maybe you've left home, you finished college, you finished your career, and now you're, you're forging your own path in life. All right. Um, but you're being, you're, you're doing exactly what you want to be doing and you're standing up for yourself in every way possible. All right. So we have the Hierophant, right? You believe in yourself. You believe in what you're doing. We have the star and holy moly. And we have the Empress as well. Wow. Okay. So the Empress here. All right. So the Empress here. Sorry if you heard that um, yell. My neighbors are outside and I, I they have their windows open or something. I'm not sure. And I think they're watching like a, um, I don't know. I think they might be watching basketball or something actually. Anyway, so the Empress here, this is creation um, at its finest, all right? Abundance. The Empress is ruled by Venus, okay? This is love. This is you stepping into your personal power. You're full of creativity, full of new ideas. You're starting out on your own, okay? You're doing things um, the way you want. You have a lot of knowledge uh, behind you here with this energy, okay? We have the star coming out as well. This is Aquarian energy here, okay? So this is hope, faith, trust. This is balance. This is grounded energy. This is your dreams coming dreams coming true. Well, this is your putting your hope and faith and your dreams into the universe and trusting that they will come true, okay, to be more specific. But this is also a very healing energy, and this is a very optimistic energy, so you have these great energies around you, the Hierophant as well. So some of you, you might have actually, um, with the Hierophant coming up here, you may have recently gotten married, some of you, all right, and um, you're, you're maybe um, not quite in that energy of, of being willing to give up some financial independence, okay? Um, but I believe for others of you, this is you stepping into your own personal belief, your higher power, okay? You might have um, gotten some advice, some guidance from within, all right? Your higher self, maybe with spirit, okay? But this is absolutely um, stepping into your own personal belief and you're being very solid and very strong and stable in what you believe in, okay? Because you know, um, you know, you have that self-confidence that's radiating with, um, you know, within you and you're exuding that self-confidence to everybody around you. All right. So, you know, this 10 of water, this, this little bit of peace that's, that's not quite in your grasp there. Okay. That can just be the result of some people 
you know, who don't 100% believe in you as much as you believe in yourself, okay, with that energy. Some of you might also have, because uh, this is a higher belief system, this is very much tradition. And again, some of you may have just graduated university or high school or, you know, college, or perhaps you are uh, later in life, you went back to school. And people thought, why would you do that at, you know, this juncture in your life? Because you've got a pretty good home life going on here. And you're just like, no, there's something missing. There's something missing in my life. I need to do this for me. This isn't for you. This is for me. Okay. So very powerful energies backing up that seven of air there. Okay. But you're very self-confident in that energy. All right. So your recent past, you have strength coming up here. Okay. So this is beautiful. This is you tapping into that inner power that you've got and those, that inner drive, determination, that courageous, um, outlook that you have. You're very determined. You're also very kind and compassionate, not just to yourself, but also to other people. So you're stepping into your power here. All right. So again, if you've gone back to school later in life, right, maybe you're, you know, 45 years old and you finally went back to school and you got that degree that maybe you gave up when, you know, you decided that your priority earlier on was to maybe have um, marriage and a family and you might still have that. Okay. You might be rocking that boat just a little bit, but that's okay. Right. It's not it's not like anything really negative here. Okay. You might just be out of the house a little bit more than you used to be. Congratulations if that's you, because it is never, ever, 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 ever too late to realize your dreams. Okay. We go through so many different phases in our life and all we can ever do is make the right decision for us at the time that we are at. All right. So it doesn't mean that at any phase in your life that any decision that you made was wrong because it was right for you at that time. But this is you stepping into your personal power here. OK, and that's not too far in the distant past for some of you there. And so um, and you're ruling that with kindness and compassion and in everything that you deal with. All right. So let's just clarify that strength card there. Clarify strength for me, please. Oh, OK. Those ones are too much. These ones? Yes, these ones. All right. So strength is clarified by the seven of, oh, geez, these are jumpy. The seven of wands. All right, that's you sticking up for yourself, standing up for yourself, overcoming obstacles, overcoming any hurdles that have um, come across your path. Your path. This is you standing up into your personal power and overcoming anything that stood in your way. Okay, this can also be you. You're rising above any challenges. All right, but this can be you as well saying, this is what I want. This is what I believe in. And, you know, finding that inner power to move yourself forward and to achieve your dreams. Okay. This King of Pentacles right here, this can absolutely represent you. Okay. You're very successful and stable where you are right now, right? The King is a masculine energy, but you can also be female. It's not gender specific. Okay. But this is, you know, you might be, you might've been very solid and stable in wherever you were, your current career, um, your current home life. Okay. Um, and you're just, you're just willing to change or improve your situation. Okay. This can also represent, um, perhaps your, your boss or your spouse. Okay. Someone giving you perhaps an opportunity to move forward. Okay. Um, but this is your, uh, this is your recent past, right? And we also have the chariot that's giving you that drive determination to move forward. Everything is in alignment here with this energy, with this chariot. So you're the master of your own destiny right here. Okay. The King of Pentacles, that's the master of, of his own domain. Okay. But this is you moving that forward, right? Standing up for yourself, standing up for your beliefs. So this King of Pentacles could be someone that gave you a little bit of resistance, Okay. But I don't feel it's really a lot. This could have been your spouse. All right. And going, why would you want to do that? We have everything you need. And you're like, no, I don't have everything that I need. Okay. So however that resonates for you. Right. And again, this can be you stepping in your own personal power. Maybe you've, um, walked up to your boss one day in your current job and you're like, 
I need to move up. I need to expand my universe. Okay. And, you know, standing up for yourself and taking that stand and saying, this is everything that I have to offer you. Okay. Give me that promotion, right? You, you're, you're, um, making a name for yourself with that energy there. Okay. And it's like, um, you're not afraid to move forward. You're not afraid to expand your horizons with that energy. Okay. Um, what's crowning you? This is your goals. This is your um, possibilities, your opportunities. We have the three of earth. So the three of earth is expanding your foundation, your existing foundation. So you can be here doing this on your own. Okay. Taking an opportunity that comes your way to, um, to expand your horizons, expand your universe, your knowledge, your career. Um, because perhaps some of you, maybe you just went back to school to learn a new skill, not necessarily to, um, make a lot of money, but maybe for your own personal growth. Okay. Um, but three of earth is also an energy of collaboration. All right. So there might be like-minded individuals that are around you that have the same kind of outlook and that you can collaborate with and socialize with exchange ideas with. Perhaps you might be, um, um, if this is your current job, all right, maybe you wanted to join a brand new team that's um, maybe in the development stages. Maybe your company has opened up a new division, all right, and you're like, pick me, pick me, pick me. And they're like, you're crazy. Why would you want to leave your current position? Because you have everything that you want. Why would you, maybe this is a step down for you money-wise, Okay. And, but you're like, no, you know what? I have all these ideas. I know exactly what this, what, uh, what we need to do. I need a chance to express myself and, you know, to collaborate with other people. All right. So let's just clarify that three of earth energy there. And we have the page of cups, right? Um, interesting because we have the page of water, which is the page of cups coming in your future position there. All right, we have the high priestess, and then we also have judgment, okay? So you've been called to do this, okay? Maybe you don't, you, maybe you don't entirely know, but something within your soul has called you in this direction. Whether you need it for the money or not, whether you, um, whether people agree with you or not, right? You might look on the outside like you have everything that you need and that you have all this stability and this happiness, but you're like, no, there's something missing. There's something missing with this energy. Okay. And judgment and the high priestess. I mean, this is that deep inner knowing and that high priestess is mastery of emotions, but the high priestess has all this inner knowledge. Okay. So it feels like some of you, you've had this stirring within you and you're like, no, I need to do this for me. This is for my personal growth, right? This is something that I want to do. Yes, I might be giving up a little bit of money. I might be giving up a little bit of stability, but I've got to do this for myself, right? So you've answered that call. You've had that stirring within you for so long, all right. And you have this inner knowledge that what you're, what you want to do, how you expand, how you grow, you just, you just know that this is going to feed your soul. Okay. It allows you for some of you to leave the past behind and move forward into a fresh new start. Okay. You might be, um, you know, leaving your current position, leaving your current, um, company for some of you perhaps, but it can also just be you expanding your horizons, right? Starting with the dawn of a new day, right? Listening to that inner voice within you, all right? Using your deep knowing and your wisdom to um, start a different, start something different, start something new, right? Expand your horizons. This is such an energy of expansion, something that feeds your soul with this page of cups here. So for some of you, this can be a potential new opportunity, a new message coming in, something that's a surprise. Okay. For some of you, this might be a surprise. All right. Someone might see you for all that you have to offer and they'll be like, you know what? Um, I have this opportunity for you. Okay. Um, you're the person that I want to lead this team and it might be something new, but you know what? This is something that it might feed your soul. Okay. So, um, some of you might have that opportunity. Okay. For some of you, this can be that, um, rebirth energy, that rebirth energy, that renewal, that burst of creativity, um, you know, exploring a new path with that page of cups there. 
all right something that taps into um, perhaps resources within you that you never really tapped into before okay your your creativity your um, uh, your emotions right you're you're looking for that connection that you didn't have previously right so some of you that can be um, that can be a little surprise heading your way with that page of cups of perhaps that new opportunity okay but absolutely some collaboration going on here all right whether that's with your higher self for some of you okay or with um, people in your current workplace or perhaps a brand new one again and if you're looking to expand your horizons in your current um, your current job if you're that new business owner or you're opening that new business right that's like woof, surprise guess what spirit told you that this is the right path to follow you're following your intuition and all of a sudden boom you're like oh my god here's this opportunity and i'm gonna seize the day all right we have that page of water coming up here again this is in your near future here okay so again some of you might have a surprise coming you might have this um, opportunity coming that allows you to put all your creativity into motion all right and something that feeds your soul gives you that creative outlet that you've been desiring right that emotional connection to your work to what you want to do and to how you move forward here with that energy so let's just clarify that page of water clarify that page of water please all right, Ooh, there we go. And we have <laughs> that page of cups coming out for you again. Okay, so yeah, someone someone has it's something very new on the horizon there. It might be a shock. It might be a little, not really a shock. It might be a bit of a surprise. Okay, um, we have the two of swords as well. And then we also have an eight of cups coming out there too. So um, so this, this opportunity, some of you, this might actually be two opportunities, both of which, um, might give you that emotional connection. Okay. That, um, that creative outlet that you're needing at this time in your life, right? You might be, you might have to learn something new. It could just be a project that you're in charge of that gets something off the ground expansion of your current, um, your current situation expansion of your current business your current company right and again maybe they've put you in charge of a group of people um, to create a new division okay but this can also be a new job for some of you right some of you might need to make a decision because you might be at a crossroads here you're like you're like wow I'm you know um, I really wanted something new I wanted something to do you know I wanted to follow a new path and now it's here and now I'm just not sure what to do but you're going within here with this energy and you're listening to that inner voice you're trying to make that decision this is a crossroads so some of you this could be two possible opportunities all right two opportunities for you there um, something that allows you to expand your universe right walk away from something for some of you um, even though, you know, maybe if this is a brand new opportunity with a different division or a different company altogether, all right, even though there's nothing really wrong with where you are now, I don't see a lot of unhappiness or turmoil or anything like that here. It's just you're looking for something a little better, something that has that um, opportunity to give you a different outlet, a different path, all right, and you're willing to walk towards something better, walk away from something that's you know maybe not as emotionally fulfilling as it once was and you're willing to expand your universe there okay for um you know and that can that can throw you for a loop a little bit here with that two of swords right you're just that little bit of indecision okay do i don't i do i don't i but um it feels in this energy that a lot of you you will take that opportunity okay and that eight of cups there that eight of cups that's that same as that eight of water okay so you know face your fear that is both your hope and your fear okay so it feels like you're you're you want that expansion you want something new but you're also afraid to leave what something that might be solid and stable pay you a lot of money and but it just maybe doesn't quite feed your soul okay it doesn't give you the opportunity to create new things right we have the ace of fire all right and the ace of fire is you being filled with 
all the passion, creativity, inventiveness, you're willing right now to seize hold of a new opportunity, right? You're, you're looking for something new, something that gives you the creative outlet um, that you're looking for, right? You, it's that think outside the box energy, right? That, um, you know, that passion, that fire, that, you know, that burning soul desire that you've got inside of you. All right. And you need, you need that outlet. You need to, you know, you need to set that free. You need to, you need to feed that part of your soul. So you're willing to, you're, you're willing, this, this is that seize the day kind of energy. Okay. So seize the opportunities that are in front of you, right? Once you get your, you know, you know what you want, right? You know what you want. And so however that situation resonates there with you. Um, so let's just clarify that ace of fire. Clarify that ace of fire. And we have the high priestess, that deep knowing that's within you. You've got everything that you need. The king of, Pen the knight of pentacles, sorry, coming out there and that two of pentacles. So, you know, you're, you're willing to, you're, you're willing to find the balance, right? You're the two of, uh, the two of pentacles can be making a decision. It can be two possible opportunities. Okay. Because again, we did have two page of waters, two page of cups coming out there for you. Okay. Um, so that can be making a decision between two opportunities and you're going to choose the one here. It looks like that feeds your soul and that also, um, you know, pays you some money as well. All right. But it feels you're willing to take a pay cut because, you know, you originally came out as, um, uh, some of you came out as the king of pentacles and now we're coming out as a knight. So some of you might need to take a bit of a pay cut in order to, um, live your dream. Okay. Just so you know, um, and you know, you're, you're making a very balanced and fair decision, right? You're weighing your options here with this two of pentacles. Okay. You're, you're not taking any decision lightly. You're, if you need to leave a company or leave something that is pretty damn comfortable for you right now, right? You're, you're really going to try and decide, right? You're, you're weighing your options there, but we do have a ship in the back of this, um, in the back of his leg on this two of pentacles. And then we also have a ship over here on that eight of water. Okay. So you're, you're looking for your ships to come in here and a new direction, new opportunity, new horizon. All right. But you have, you're, you are very much listening to your intuition here with this high priestess. Okay. You're looking for that inner guidance, that inner wisdom. All right. You're looking for a balanced, solid, stable opportunity here. So even though you are willing to try something new, you're gaining that inner, inner clarity. Okay. You're, you're listening to your soul with that energy there, but that Knight of pentacles, you are very willing to put your nose to the grindstone and to work hard and be very committed. All right. So, um, you know, again, you might be collaborating with some people here. Um, you know, with that, uh, with that three of earth energy that we had. Okay. Um, you know, but you're very, very committed to whatever project that you've got on hand, whatever job you have, whatever, um, you're expanding your horizons to be. Okay. You're not afraid of hard work. You're not afraid of putting your nose to the grindstone and you're very, very stable. Okay. So, um, you're like, a you know, man, you know, uh, you're the person with that plan and you know how to put that plan into action. All right. We have the three of water coming in, in your external influences. This is celebration. This is joy. This is socialization. Okay. Collaboration with people. It can be, so it feels like your, um, your external group, they're happy for you. Okay. They're very happy for you, right? There might be a little bit of, um, uh, with that 10 of water being, uh, crossing you there. Okay. Um, your, your family, um, even though they're very happy for you, they're also a little bit, um, okay, this is going to change things a little bit, but not anything negative. Okay. So, you know, celebrate, this is your friends, your family, your external environment, and they're all happy for you. Okay. So revel in that celebration. Let's clarify that three of water. See what else we can get out of that clarify that three of water <laughs> we have the three of cups clarifying the three of water okay so um 
people are incredibly happy for you right so if uh, you know if, if this is you looking for that promotion okay everybody around you knows that you are the person for this job okay if you are that if you are that person that went back to school later in life all right just because you wanted to accomplish something for your own soul look at how happy everyone is for you rejoice celebrate all right however the situation plays out for you new career um new promotion you're the one that's gonna you know expand your business expand your company's division holy crap right this is two energies here of everyone in a joyful celebration with you they're rooting for you okay so if you're doubting yourself at all know that you have a massive group of people behind you all rooting for you and for your well-being and for your happiness so rejoice rejoice and celebrate all right your hopes and fears we have the eight of water okay and we had the eight of cups out earlier as well which is a similar energy but this is expanding your horizons, right? You're looking for your ships to come in. Is it scary starting something new? Maybe something that you haven't tried before, putting yourself out there? Hell yes, it is. All right. But with this energy, you're willing to try, okay? Because you're looking for something to expand yourself and expand your universe here. So this is both your hope and your fear. You want something new. You want that new horizon, right? You want that new emotional connection. Okay, or to revitalize um, that connection that you have, something that's better. You're looking for your missing treasure, right? There's your treasure right there. Okay, and there's your pirate ship. All right, so yes, it's scary. Yes, it's scary, but it's also um, full of such positive, creative energy here. Okay, so it's a wonderful, wonderful energy for you. Your outcome, the five of fire. Look at all that creativity going on there. Okay, the five of fire, um, you know, this is uh, working with a lot of people, brainstorming, okay, getting those creative ideas. So again, you're the right person for this job. Okay, we started out your reading with this four of fire. All right, your creativity bursting forth, right? Your, you, you know, your commitment. And then we graduate here with your outcome to the five of fire. So it's always nice to see somebody leveling up in these readings, okay? And that's exactly what you're doing here, leveling up. You're working with a lot of people, lots of collaboration, brainstorming, okay? Um, you know, a lot of electricity in the room, all right, you know, you're trying to figure something out. You're trying to, you know, collaborate with all of these people, but you all have your each other's best interest in heart. You're working towards a common goal with this five of fire. So let's clarify this five of fire. Four of pentacles. Okay, you got that stability. Ah, oh boy. Okay. <laughs> That is me. We're not taking all those cards. Okay. So we have the four of pentacles. We've got stability, alignment. All right. Alignment with that energy, the hanged man looking for a different perspective with that. And then we have that seven of swords. So that seven of swords, just so you know, is similar to the seven of air. Okay. You're standing in your truth, standing in your authenticity. Okay. Um, you know, your, um, uh, anything you're you're willing in this energy here while you're doing this collaboration, right? Anything that doesn't work, you're leaving it behind. Okay, um, you know you've got this solid and it's solid and stable. It pays the bills. All right, it pays the bills with this energy, but it allows you to be in alignment. You're standing in your authenticity. You're in alignment. Your heart, body, mind, soul with this energy, and this gives you a new perspective on life here. Okay, the hanged man is that energy of surrender, all right? Um, surrender to the forces that are working with you in this case, absolutely. Okay, this is the only major arcana that has come out. And, oh no, we have the strength card coming out. So strength and the hanged man coming out for you, all right? But this is gaining that inner enlightenment, that perspective, okay? So this is that new perspective that that high priestess keeps on reiterating for you. Okay, and this just gives you a brand new perspective on life, 
um, on your working environment, okay? This collaboration with people and this success. It is a beautiful, beautiful reading here for you. So, you know, again, congratulations, all right? Because this is expansion, this is growth, and this is something that gives you that creative fire and that outlet that you're perhaps missing in your current situation or your current um your current job so this is you putting yourself out there and it's wonderful so there we go um <clears throat> so i'm closing out your reading here with a wisdom of the oracle message in a bottle came out all right card number 15 and we keep getting those pages of water right those those um new opportunities those messages so expect a message somewhere along the way here um, probably sooner rather than later, a message, an opportunity, something coming in. This can also be a message from your higher self, your intuition, giving you guidance and showing you the clear direction on where to go. So I'm going to read this one from the book for you. Uh, card number 15. And here we go. So I'm going to read you the prosperity message since this is your career and finances right here. You are on target with your purpose and your passion. You are coming into alignment with your destiny and spirit wants you to know that you're on the right track. Expect a call, a new opportunity, or a message from an old friend or business contact that will lead you closer to your dreams and greatest desires. Spirit has been listening to you. Okay, wonderful reading. Like, wow. Okay, this is such a cool career reading. Okay, so congratulations on whatever this is that you you're you've been working on okay going back to school for for some of you breaking out of your comfort zone trying something new all right congratulations all around all right take the time don't forget to take the time to celebrate okay celebrate your accomplishments and your success all right so i'm going to leave that there for you guys i really hope you have the most wonderful fabulous month ahead okay and um if there was messages here for you please don't forget to like subscribe and share leave me a comment let me know how these things are how this is playing out for you throughout the month okay um and i thank you so very much for watching and i will see you next time bye bye